Valley Kicker, Scooby and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part five of our series of my 2024 rig rundown. And today we're going to be looking at dive mask. And I'm going to be showing you all the dive masks that I'm wearing in 2024. And of course, explain why I'm using each one. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, guys, getting started really quick. You will notice there is five masks here, but there's two of the same and then three of the same. That's right. I'm only diving two different types of masks. I do have three that's identical that we're going to talk about, and then I've got two full face masks. We're going to talk about what I use them for as well. But starting over here on the left, this is the Marez X Vision. This is an older, I believe this is a 2014 model here. This was the SSI Pro version. You can see I've had this thing a very long time. All the white's starting to turn yellow on it. Uh, but I love this mask. It fits me perfect. One of the newest upgrades I did, I added this GoPro mount here so I can mount a GoPro to it. I do have a strap cover on the back. I love these neoprene strap covers. And of course, all mine, you'll see they do say instructor on them because... Once again, I'm a dive instructor. Moving on over, it's the identical same mask. This was from just a few years ago. This one does have the glare, um, glare free lens on it. So I use it, of course, anytime I'm in the tropics. If I know I'm going to be in the tropics where it's crystal clear and a lot of sunlight, I wear that just to keep the glare out of my eyes. Sometimes I'll wear this spear fishing or if I'm doing underwater photography as well. It too has the GoPro mount, so I can just strap a uh, GoPro to the top or any camera system. I can use basically any camera system that's got that type of attachment point. It too also has the instructor neoprene cover on it. And then, of course, the last one is identical once again. This ends up being a primary mask for salvage work when I'm not wearing one of the full face masks, but it's just a primary X vision. Really love this mask as well, but it also ends up being a backup mask to one of these. So if I'm recreational diving, this one's in my box. If I'm diving out, say in the tropics somewhere, this one's down in my box as well. Or let's say I'm side mount diving using either one of these. This goes down in my butt pouch, something of that sort. But this also becomes my backup mask when I'm in a full face mask, which is going to be the next thing we look at. All right, ending out the video here. Of course, I have two different full face masks from Ocean Reef. This is the brand new Neptune 3 that came out a year ago or last year or the year before. And of course, this is my older uh, space mask here. Um, you'll notice they're set up differently. And I do use them for different purposes. So if I'm teaching full face mask diving, I use the Neptune 3 and um, I just love it. It's a great breather. It's a lot better breather than all their previous models. And yeah, this is what I teach with here. You'll notice there's nothing on the extender frame. I don't even have a comm unit because this is just my teaching mask. This is what I use. Basically, this goes in the pool, goes out in open water a couple of times, and that's it. It gets cleaned up, gets stored away. I try not to damage this one. And then, of course, I've got my space mask. This is my go-to for public safety, salvage, and commercial diving. And I've got this thing jacked up, rigged up the way I need it. Got a camera mount there on the top for my GoPro. I can use any other type of camera as well. I've got two different uh, lights here. And you're going to see these lights again because these lights also actually mount to my helmet up there. And I can just very easily pop them in and out. And I did a video on that. I showed you how we did that as well. But I've got two different light sources on there. And yes, I do have a comm unit on there as well. So I can talk to the surface and other divers. I've got a couple other upgrades i did upgrade this one with a quick release handle that comes with the neptune 3 i just added one to this this does have the adjustable exhaust here at the bottom so it makes it easy to prevent free flows and stuff when you go inverted but yeah that is my public safety salvage and commercial full face mask so there you go guys that's going to do it for the 2024 rig rundown mask edition that's every mask that i'm using in 2024 let me know down in the comment section which mask are you using do you use mares do you use a different brand and what style mask do you use as well also let me know if you use a ocean reef full face mask and you have the extender frame how do you trick yours out do you add cameras? Do you add lights to it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make a video about it. I would love to see how you trick your mask out as well. Because I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. Drop me a comment down below. If you got any questions on any of these masks, drop me a comment and I'd be glad to have a discussion with you. Guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Stay tuned. Our very next video, we are going to be looking at fins. I'm going to show you every fin that I'm using in 2024 and kind of explain why I'm using them as well. That's going to do it for today, guys. Take care. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.